para já não está a correr como planeado, estamos com algumas dificuldades em termos um carro competitivo aqui, já o ano passado tivemos algumas dificuldades, mas acho que temos feito bons progressos, Laguna Seca é uma pista muito particular, tem a, a curva Saca Rolhas, que é a curva mais mítica de, daqui, é uma pista técnica bastante complicada, a aderência é muito reduzida, isso está-nos a criar algumas dificuldades, mas uh, é apenas mais uma corrida no campeonato, esperemos que tudo vá correr bem durante o resto do campeonato. Realmente este não é um ponto forte para nós uh, no passado, mas esperemos este, com o trabalho que a equipa tem feito, continuar uh, a evolução do carro, do nosso Corvette e conseguir realmente ter um carro competitivo para a corrida. Ok, temos um fim de semana bastante bueno, até agora Hemos estado, eh, de tres sesiones de prácticas, hemos logrado el primer lugar en dos de ellas y en la otra cuarto lugar. Hemos estado preparando el carro, haciendo diferentes modificaciones en las que algunas han salido bien, otras no. Eh, estamos poniendo un carro que sea bueno para una carrera de dos horas, una carrera larga, no un carro nada más rápido para una vuelta de clasificación, ya que entonces se hace más difícil de manejar a una carrera larga. Eh, estamos trabajando duro para, tener, para lograr la victoria. Uh, queremos ganar aquí, ya venimos, nos hace falta una victoria, estamos en el segundo lugar en el campeonato, estamos peleando bastante, esta pista es, es muy sabrosa de manejarla, es una pista que realmente se adapta a nuestro estilo de manejo, nos gusta, tenemos un buen setting para el carro aquí en, aquí en Laguna, el Corkscrew es una de las, de las curvas más emocionantes, es una de las mejores curvas, Realmente es todo un reto poder hacerla rápido sin correr riesgo de salirte de la pista. Así que vamos a estar dándolo todo, vamos a estar peleando duro aquí este fin de semana. Mañana es la carrera y vamos a tratar de llevarnos la victoria aquí en Laguna Seca. Well, I mean, uh, it was a pretty uh, clean lap, I have to say. Um, actually, I was driving in, in the straight and I, uh, I figured out I was in the wrong uh, engine map. Um, so I was like, whoops, I think I should change that. So I was lucky that I found out, otherwise I, I'm sure I wouldn't be on pole right now. But um, luckily for me, I, I found out that, especially right after turn two, uh, pretty late braking over there, um, double apex corner very slippery um, as the track was a bit dirty in the beginning. Then um, up to turn three, uh, very, very special corner since um, the cart has the tendency to have understeer in that corner. Um, using the entire track, trying to avoid dropping a wheel on the, on the gravel, which is easy. Turn four, extremely quick. Uh, the car felt fantastic over there, um, very good balance. Um, going up the hill uh, into turn five, uh, very late braking just after the bridge with the late apex using the inside curb and the exit curb. Um, then uh, again up the hill into probably one of the quickest corners of the track, turn six. Uh, very easy to do a mistake there and, and ruin the whole lap. So I kind of try to avoid taking any risk there. Um, I think I, I did it pretty on the edge. Um, then uh, approaching obviously the magic corkscrew, which was um, Quite on the limit, I wasn't quite happy about my coach in my fastest lap, but um, I managed to somehow get out of it, although my entry speed was a bit too high. Um, but uh, luckily, I was still in a good position to approach turn nine, which is, uh, I think, the trickiest corner of the track since it's very um, off camber. And um, well, then the last two corners, I just, I knew I was coming in a good lap, so I didn't want to take any risk there. Uh, I just tried to drive as smooth as possible especially in the last corner looking for looking for traction and power down there which is always tricky but overall i think a pretty pretty clean lap and happy to be on pole
was uh, it was a really good match. It was on the limit. Like for more than one quarter, I thought that I couldn't uh, stay on track. So it's uh, one of that lap that you don't do it often. So I'm, I'm really happy about it. And what does being on pole mean here? I'm sorry. What does being on the pole, starting on the pole, mean here? Like, I never race here. Yeah, it's my first time at Laguna. But uh, according to everybody, is um, a good position to start, of course, because here is difficult to overtake. Uh, but I think the race, uh, the race is long. The, the degradation is quite high, so it's just the first step. We have to a lot of work now. Uh, yeah, um, just, yeah, I know, I, they kept telling me in the radio, it was pretty close, pretty close, so I just had to put it together at the end, I just, uh, yeah, had to suck it up and put some, put some hard laps down, we're definitely, like, on the edge of the track, trying to just get every little inch, and, uh, you know, ended up putting it together, and pretty stuck. Awesome, and what does being on pole mean here? Uh, I think it's pretty big. I mean, it, it seems like a pretty tricky, tricky circuit to pass. Like there are there's a straightaway, but everything is pretty tight. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's too many opportunities to pass. So I think pole's pretty big here. Oh, uh, that's one of those laps you really can't even remember. I was just pushing my heart out. Uh, I had a good car underneath me. The track was a little slick. It's, uh, you know, end of the day. So, um, yeah, it, was, it was a hard lap to get in under my belt, but we just pushed uh, and we got the lap. So. Awesome. And then what does being on pole mean here? Oh, it means everything. Mazda Race with Laguna Sega. This is our home track and uh, a track that we've been looking forward to all year. And uh, this really proves it. I mean, we're pole and um, we got a really solid race car for the race. So. Everyone's really excited.